I'm really excited about the conference in November. Uh, several hundred experts have already registered. There's some amazing speakers. First of all, we've got the Chief Executive of the Solicitors Regulation Authority, who's going to look at the ethics around payment of fees, etc. The regulatory body for solicitors. Secondly, we've got the Chair of the Bar, so he represents the barristers in the country. He's going to talk about the relationship between experts and barristers. We've got the legal update. We have parallel sessions dealing with commercial, civil, family and criminal law. We have an interesting debate, but today we have a star speaker, uh, uh, Chris Butler, who is a um, accredited, no, regulated costs lawyer. So Chris, welcome. I'm very glad you're coming to the conference. Can you just explain briefly what are costs for expert witnesses? That's a good question, Mark. Um, costs in relation to expert witnesses essentially relates to solicitors having engaged experts um, during the course of a piece of litigation, um, whether that's on a one-off basis or on a, on a more regular basis. Um, and essentially the costs will relate to the fees incurred by the experts during the course of the litigation, which ultimately, if the litigation is successful, the, ex the, the fees will be looked to be recovered from, a, from the opposing party. So what's the, you, you've obviously got a lot of experience in this. What's the main problem regarding experts' costs? The main problem in relation to experts' costs is experts not recording their time right. sufficiently. So or when they do the work, manner. do the research, go to court, they don't record it properly? No, no, they, they, absolutely. There can be situations where essentially the, the, an expert will charge a certain fee, but the lack of data or the lack of information which is supplied to support that fee does not assist in the justification of that fee when it's assessed by the court. So it's to assist the court to understand the work done and justify that work, is that right? Absolutely right. The more information that can be provided in a detailed form, all the better. And when it, at the conference, I'll be explaining in a little bit more detail as to how that information can best properly. be provided. And so what's your role in this whole process? Do you, do you write the costs or how do you, how do you yeah, do Yeah, I mean, essentially, I, I've been working in the, in the legal cost field for roughly 35 years. Um, and my, my, my role is one of being engaged by solicitors either during the course of the litigation or at the end of the litigation to assist in the, either the justification of costs or the opposition of costs. And that includes all aspects of the costs, whether it be the solicitor's fees, barrister's fees, or indeed the expert's fees. And as a result of that, um, we, we become involved in uh, assessing the information which has been supplied or provided by the experts um, during the course of their retainer and that will be including obviously re reviewing uh, in letters of instruction, reviewing the experts' uh, records of time and, and then I will potentially query with the, ex with, with the barrister or the ca or solicitors um, how that time has been recorded and whether I consider that time to be vulnerable. So when you come to when you come to speak with the experts, you're going to assist them to understand what needs to be done right at the beginning. Absolutely. It's, I suppose it's similar to uh, medical records, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, essentially, what, what, it, what is agreed from the outset and the information which is provided by the expert in order to justify their fees will go a long way at the conclusion of the process in order to justify those fees. So it's vitally important that the information the expert provides at the outset and on an ongoing basis stands up to scrutiny of the court. Good. So, thanks very much. So, at the conference they can expect to learn how to do it properly right from the beginning to make sure they get paid properly and to do it right, of course, that maintains the relationship with the instructing solicitor. Absolutely. That, that, that is the, 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 one of the things I'll be talking about at the conference is best, basically best practice. I'll also be giving some tips and hints on, 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 on issues to avoid and what, 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 what essentially a cost judge will be looking for when it comes to the assessment of your fees because ultimately what we're looking to achieve is a situation where the best, best information is provided throughout the process and therefore your fees are recoverable, if not in full, then in, in the majority the from the paying party. Chris, well thank you so much. We very much look forward to seeing you at the conference. Um, so forget about booking for Oasis. You need to be at the conference. It's going to be a great event and I very much look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.